I'm Fiona Wilson, an artist in Scotland, and I just love sketchbooks. This is one of my studio books. I use the swim cap project, and I thought you'd like a little look. The book started as an exploration into retro patterns, because uh, I just adore those. Then I sort of took them into the idea of a, an old swimsuit like my mother used to wear at the beach. And then I looked at cherry blossoms, different sort of flower designs, and of course the classical roses, drawing them realistically and then breaking them down. The flowers led into looking at scraps, and then in this little one in the left, I just did this little painting and it was almost about the longing and the love and loss and it kind of came from ships and sailors and waiting for your true love or trying to find your true love. The figure is a little bit lost, there's no direction, perhaps the way this sketchbook was kind of going. So I got into these ships and here's the mermaid. She's maybe waiting for her sailor and there's his love tattoos that's declaring his love for her and then I jumped back onto the retro flowers and the idea of vintage swim caps like women used to wear in the 50s and 60s to keep their hair nice and dry and I'm just looking at colours and them as a graphic element perhaps to take into screen print and more graphic elements based on the good old Tunnock's tea cakes um, which are very popular in Scotland. This page was from a drawing in life at a sort of club that I go to called Drawing Life Glasgow and it was a burlesque performer wearing this wonderful slinky dress which I kind of think would make a good mermaid and here's some more drawings from that one evening session I thought her fans would make a really good clamshell. Keeping with the burlesque theme, I started to look at vintage swim caps and I was looking at the idea of nostalgia and childhood. And sometimes I have images, but then I do like to look at words as well as a way of sparking ideas. And these caps are sort of having a little look with pictures at how the caps actually sat on the heads and what ideas I might like to put in the caps. So I was looking at flowery caps and then I had the idea of the caps would be holding dreams or places that people might want to go or what does a swimmer think about and this is Brighton so a little bit of a dream to go to Brighton and that's where I ended up showing most of these paintings that resulted from the sketches and this is a nautical page, lots of lovely blue and red. And then I take this sort of information and I made little sheets so I could take those and put them on my studio wall rather than carrying the whole book um, from home to the studio. I love to collect images and this one here is a colour reference of the photograph which I'd collected which is really useful um, for sparking ideas. In this page I'm looking at colour studies so that I can plan how the mermaid's going to look. So I've got the Scottish colourists, the Impressionists, the Fauves, all artists that kind of use different colours, not just realistic skin tones. And here I've used some collage, so just a magazine picture which I've altered. It's a mermaid with her fishnet and then I've brought in tiles and the collage just allows you to mix and match images a lot easier. I like her tattoos here and I thought that could be a good idea for a mermaid following her North Star. And in this one it's mermaid as a warrior emerging from the sea annoyed that we've filled it with plastic. In this page I started to look at mermaids and all types of women that come from the sea like selkies and there's a Scottish freshwater mermaid and it's about the women being trapped by men and 
in this case she's decided that she's had enough and she's sunk her bed and I'm looking at beds and then in this case I'm looking at how to make her hair look watery and again looking at the watery colours. Here I've taken some of my printed textures on tissue paper and trying the idea of silhouettes and trying to make the textures look like fish scales and fishiness under the water and how I can incorporate those with the figure. And here I looked at the idea of the mermaid being caught and their fishnets and here she is emerging from a, a pool and I've got all these words on the left hand side and this was actually part of Mer Me, um, which every May you can take these prompts and I thought they were a good thing to write down. I've combined a photograph of a beach in Scotland with a drawing I had and here on the right again exploring fashion that could be reinterpreted as the mermaid wearing her fishnets. This page shows the selkie on the left as an idea and in this one I'd gone back to the dream caps and this was trying to put Moni's gardens into her swim cap as if she was dreaming of being in France because it was awful cold in Scotland and I was dreaming of a warm spring day in a lovely pond. The other side I'm looking at the mermaid as emerging from water and in this page I'm exploring compositions of people's work that I love to, to sort of push mine on a bit. A quick reference to Flotsam and Jetsam, some more studies and again taking my own ideas then from using the information I had and working out some compositions for the actual paintings. So you can see there there was the pier and the clouds which have all appeared in paintings. Some sketches um, from the television and then some final ideas and some loose sheets of paper which further ideas which I then take into another book. I hope you enjoyed this little insight into how I translate my artist brain into a sketchbook. If you have any questions or thoughts just pop them in the comments and if you enjoyed the video please hit subscribe as I'm going to be making more exploring my art practice. Thanks for watching!